Fliss, congratulations, FA Cup semi-finalists. And you've got the winning goal. <laughs> yeah, um, obviously delighted to get into the next round. I think that was sort of the main aim, really. Just obviously we wanted a good performance, but I think, you know, to to create history with this team and get into the semi-final, you know, ultimately it's one game away from Wembley now. So, yeah, we're just over the moon to get through. It was just a tight game, a quite a scrappy game at times. They made it re hard work for us, which you probably expected, I think. Yeah, I think, um, to be honest, we came in at half-time and said, you know, it's sloppy and it was a bit scrappy and we weren't really our best in possession. And, and credit to Charlton, like you say, they made it they made it really difficult for us. But I think, ultimately, sometimes you have to win ugly, don't you? And we were a little bit light on sort of personnel today. So, um, yeah, I think we're just, we're just pleased to get it done. We made it hard for ourselves, but we're into the next round. Talk us through the goal. Actually, just before you scored, you had, the goalkeeper had a really good save, didn't I? Yeah, I was a bit annoyed, actually, because... I feel like I should have scored the one before. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it just it came at me and I just thought, get it on target and yeah, went in the net and I didn't, after that didn't really know what to do. Uh, Charlton didn't threaten much, but right at the end there, Meg Morsham had a very important save, didn't she? Yeah, um, not the first time that Meg has kept us in games, to be honest with you, you know, we all know she's a brilliant shot stopper and um, yeah, they put us under a lot of pressure, Charlton, especially in sort of the final stages, but you know what you're going to get with Meg and it's, it's in those big moments where she steps up and, and makes those sort of game-winning saves ultimately. It's a busy week for us, we've got to recover now and go, ahead, go again, big game on Saturday against Chelsea. Yeah, um, I think it's nice that um, we got the win tonight to sort of go into the Chelsea game with a bit of momentum, you know, knowing that we're now in the semi-finals and we know what we're going to get from Chelsea. It's going to be one of the hardest games of the season for us, but, you know, of course we're going to be looking to, to cause an upset and there's a very happy changing room in there at the moment, so we'll be going in in good spirits. In terms of that workload this week with three games and six days, how much difference does it make now with the facilities for recovery at the new training ground? It's amazing we couldn't ask for more, to be honest. We have absolutely everything that we could need um, for recovery and, and to prepare us. And not only the facilities, but the staff are very, you know, they keep on top of all the data and sort of how people are feeling and people that have been away on international duty, people that have been working hard in international breaks. So they monitor everything. So to be honest with, with that and now obviously the brand new facility that we've got with the ice baths, the pool and, and everything we need, um, we'll be going into Chelsea with, you know, a fully fit squad ready to go.